हे एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम देव एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ वुमेन हाई वेस्टेड स्ट्रेट पैंट विथ साइड पॉकेट्स दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस ईयर एंड आई होप यू लाइक इट एंड इफ यू लाइक अवर वीडियो अवर ट्यूटोरियल्स प्लीज लाइक अवर वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू शेयर अवर वीडियोज विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कलीग्स तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys this is our style image and this is style we are going to create i had also write down some basic measurements for you which will help you to understand the measurements okay these are the measurements we are going to follow length waist and hip these are the basic measurement we have to create this style so this is not a deep detailed video uh, you can follow the step i'm going which we which i am going to do simply select the intelligent pen tool and drag and then enter the measurement here we are going to uh, enter the length and hip measurements in 1/4 so our length is let me check our length is 48 let me update it. 48 is to i think we can do 40 40 will be good 48 so so length we are going to 40 and hip hip is hip circumference is 39 so here 9.75 okay now what we are going to do we will create a line from the center okay then we will go to divide tool or you can also simply click the d for divide so we can enter the measurements now here we are going to add the waist measurements so our waist measurement is 29 So for twenty nine, we because we are creating pattern in one fourth, so twenty nine one fourth is eight point two five seven point two five. Okay, and we will. down we will also create a line on 8 inches this is a high waisted pant and after we will create a line in 2 inches okay. from here we will also add a 1.5 inches line okay. also create a straight line from again now we will create the front crotch before this we will also down 1.0.5 now this is the crotch line we need to give the shape of the crotch front crotch simply we can add shapes using the modify tool we we had done this is our hip line and this is our crotch line so also need to give some shape here now at the bottom again uh, we will create a center from here so this is the center now we will going to create the hem hem so hem we will going to make 
because it's almost a statement and we will from here we will make it to 7.5 Seven point five here. We will add line. We will again join the line here. Now we can give shape. Now we can give the any same shape. We have the basic structure from our street plant. Now, what we are going to create, we are going to create uh, the back. So, for the back, we need to increase 2.5 from the cloth and also need to increase 0.75 and join. So, this is our back. Now, we will join both lines and create back crotch at the him area We will increase one inches and then also join and give the shape and give the ensign shape so now what we are going to do right now our front inseam is 29.35 and our back inseam is 29.67 so what we will going to do we will adjust the back inseam as per the front inseam for that we, uh, we are going to use curve adjust tool just simply click and it's 29.29 29.35 it's going to be we need to go adjust it in downside okay so now it's 29.35 and it's also the back engine also it's 29.35 so uh, now one more important thing we are going to use do uh, now we will compare the front and back crotches crotches for that we need to use move and rotate adjust shortcut is and simply first select the front and back back crotch you can select anyone first then insane then first select the front and back crotch then right click then select the inseam then right click then select and rotate so if you check the crotch shape is correct properly there is no there is no corner Okay, so shape is good now you can move forward so we had uh, created we had uh, I think we had done almost 70% work we had done now what we will do we will create side pockets so in front we will go 1.5 from the waist area and pocket length will be 6 inches 6 inches okay 
so this will be the pocket right now we are only working on the design line design line so now we will create the side pocket pocket bags for that select enter the measurement 4.5 will be okay and pocket bag i am just creating roughly not with proper measurements so this will be the pocket bag okay now we will going to create the waistband but first we will create the zipper fly for that 1.25 length 8 Seven point five, seven point five. Okay. This will be the our uh, zipper. Just give a curve shape here. Now we need to create the waist waist band so our wa uh, waist is 29 29 plus 1.25 so 30.25 so 30.25 with two inches okay this is our waist 1.25 Here we will add the button. Okay. Now we also need to create separate fly. Press G. Copy. This is the fly. This one we will going to create the zipper fly. Sorry. This will be going to be the zipper fly. One point two five. This will going to be the zipper fly. This will be the simple fly. One more thing we need to create. One point five. 1.25 and 7.5 this will be the fly so our final step is to cut all the design line so let's get started we will use the forfex tool to cut so this is our waist band this is our zipper fly this is our fly here we will use our front we also need to get a cut here. So this is our front pocket bag. There will be a two kind of pocket bag. So just duplicate, cut the extra part. Delete it, become the second pocket bag. So, back just 
select all the design lines all the lines it will become gray and right click so guys uh, <coughs> we had cut all the parts okay now what we are going to do we will add all part names give style names add proper cinema lines first we will change the green line just use the green line tool this is your pattern list okay so this is a waistband Starting to super fly front up into two pocket bag to two pocket bag bag up to two. So we have write down the names. Okay. Let me arrange them properly. So now we will move the extra point. We don't need. Now we'll add the seam allowance bottom. We're going to add one one inches at bottom. One inches. Okay. We will flip the pattern. So guys our pattern is created i hope you like this video and uh, if you like our video uh, one more thing one more thing guys i forgot to add the button let me hit the button here button mark it's not necessary but it will be good if we can add the button mark we can also add the Bottom hole mark, center, button hole mark, this is more excellent. So guys, I hope you like our video and if you had liked, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and in our next video, we are going to use this pattern to create a 3D. So stay tuned with us and share our videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.